the gift for Dad. Windows etched with branches and sparrows at the feeder, the sun too heavy to rise much above the rattling tops of trees. Late fall days, the chill deepens. Yet a gray bird on a limb nearly dissolved into drab sky lifts into flight and transforms a flash of white underwings charging the air. And I think of my father at breakfast that day, his quiet routine shifting to make room for me, for my bustle, my insistence on vitamins and hope, my smile that reminded him of mother. When I joined him, he was staring out the window, holding his coffee with both hands, palsied now, once able to clear forests and slice trees into planks. A man who strung words slowly on threads of deliberation. He hadn't talked much lately. That bird, he said. What bird, Dad? He set down his cup and motioned toward the window. There was a gray bird on the wire there, just a plain gray bird, but then when he lifted off to fly, all that white under his wings, you know? For weeks after his death, before insight sparked his, this memory to warm me now more than fire or flannel or even the down of feathers gray and white, I wished I had said, and that's why I write poetry, Dad, instead of just nodding, naming the bird, smiling over my cup.